Hey guys, welcome back to All Things Knives, and today we are doing a Nitro V carry update. All right, so just so you guys can see the finish on this, this is a thousand grit Waterstone edge, and I'll tell you what led up to this exact point of me putting a Waterstone edge on. So I used the knife yesterday at work. It performed really well. It was definitely on its working edge, and then I came home and I went to go put it on my dresser. Pulled it out of my pocket, it fell out of my hand. I don't know it hit from hitting the wall or hitting the concrete, but they're right about here. I don't know, I think I got it all out. All right, so big old dent, chipped the tip for sure. And then there was a big old divot, like you could feel it. Like you could go like this and pop your nail on it like that. Um, huge, it was huge. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to sharpen it and I'll try sharpening it on a water stone. So I did that to get that big old chip out. I'm looking at my clock right now. Uh, we're going to say 15 minutes. Yeah, we're going to say 15 minutes to get a chip out. And then, uh, so I didn't strop yet. I didn't strop. I wanted you guys to see this. Oh, off a thousand grit water stone. Without stropping. That is how sharp that is. Look at that. I mean, let's see if I can do slow. Still a little tooth on it, but... Yeah, but I mean, that's pretty dang sharp for no strop at all. Yeah, look at that. That is awesome. That sharpens easier than even the 14C28N. So, yeah, I, that's awesome. I'm going to strop this too, and I can only guarantee you the edge is only going to get sharper for me stropping it. So that is awesome to know that it can do that, especially at the advertised Rockwell. I do want to get this tested just to see what it is actually, but dang, I am, I am more than impressed by this steel so far. Any other steel would have gotten chipped. I mean, it, it fell from a meter high onto the concrete, and it danced. It danced. It hit the wall. It hit my dresser. <laughs> and all about the span of two seconds. So, yeah, and it sharpened. I didn't, you know, not on diamond, just a simple 80 grit water stone. I just worked it out and then went to the 1,000 grit, and holy cow, the apex that it took. I think that first time I sharpened it, burnt edge, I think I'm past the burnt edge now because holy cow, no problem to burring whatsoever. First time it was like back and forth, back and forth. No problem, just a bird. You saw that. That was without stropping. That's awesome. All right, well, that's your update. I'm going to use this water stone edge and I'll probably strop to half a micron. I'll probably do a nine, five, and then a half a micron. Or, mm, Maybe I'll do a nine, a five, a one. We'll see. I'll tell you what the progression I did on the next update. But yeah, so that's how Nitro V sharpens. Holy cow. Next time I sharpen this, I'll try and do a sharpening video. I do want to do a live video of me sharpening, and you guys can just hop in. Let me know if you guys are actually interested in me doing a live sharpening video. Just comment down, comment that down below if you are. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Let me know if that surprised you at all. It definitely surprised me. Let me know what your experiences have been so far with Nitro V. And can't wait till I do the final review of this because I'm actually kind of excited. I'm more excited now about this steel. But as always, thanks for watching, guys. Stay sharp.